Hey, this is Saki from Saki Tech. In this video, I want to share the top 10 features of iOS 9, which is due for release this fall. In this video, I will be using an iPad Air 2. There are some iOS 9 features exclusive to the iPad and others applicable to all iOS 9 devices. So let's dive in and start off with the iPad exclusive features. Now, the first step actually is my favorite feature in itself. Now, when you launch a video, and let's say you're playing the video, and you exit the screen by tapping the home button that video actually continues to play in a small window on the side and you can move this window around and even if you go to Safari or any other app that window is just gonna stay there and you can continue to play and watch your video on the side you do have some options with this you can maximize it back continues to play seamlessly you can pause it while it is minimized like that or you can simply cancel this another thing you can do with this is let's go back in there play the video go out you can put this anywhere on the side of the iPad you cannot put it in the middle if you try to it's simply going to skip to the closest corner right over there so if it's right here boom the corner okay so this is a pretty nifty feature the other feature that is exclusive to the iPads is called slide over feature. So let's just launch any app, Safari, and what I can do is I can do a slide over from the side to quickly glance at another application and even interact with that, with that application. And also, if I swipe from bottom to top, it allows me to pick different applications that are available in the slide over mode. So I can go into the notes, I can go to the mail, I can go to the messages, go to the photos, and I can interact with these things as I please. Now when I'm done, I can tap anywhere and the slide over disappears. Now just remember, the slide over feature is compatible with iPad Air 1, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 2, and iPad Mini 3. It's not going to work on the iPhone or any other iPads that I did not mention. Now the third feature is called the split screen multitasking you can actually do real multitasking but this feature is only exclusive to the iPad Air 2 on iOS 9 so it starts off with the slide over feature but then you tap the bar right over here and that activates the split screen multi view alrighty from here you can change the size of the windows and you can interact with these separately one by one alrighty so it's not the slide over feature where you cannot interact with both windows but with this with the multitasking you can do work on each side and you can also resize the windows you can swipe the windows away just like that alrighty so those three features picture in picture slide over and split screen multitasking are exclusive to the iPad Air 2 on iOS 9. Now let me talk about some of the other features that actually come across all iOS 9 devices. One of them is, as you know, if you pull down, you get the spotlight search. You can actually do that now by pulling to the right as well. Okay, so you get the same spotlight search uh, by swiping to the right or bottom as you please. Now the search functionality, the spotlight search is quite intelligent, alrighty? So let me show you what I mean. So if I pull it down, and let's just say I want to look up the Apple stock. What's the current price? All I have to do is type in Apple stock, and it's going to pull, in a couple minutes, it's going to pull up the actual Apple stock price. And in fact, because this is a beta, it's not going to work perfectly, but let me show you what I mean there we go the Apple stock price just popped right over here alrighty and then additionally you can do things like conversion calculations so let me pull this down X and let's just put in 2 uh, plus 2 okay as you can see the calculator over there uh, gave you the answer which is 4 and you can do this with any kind of complicated number whether it is a calculation or a conversion and this is just to show you guys the improvements in the uh, in the spotlight search. 
Now one more pretty striking feature is how intelligent Siri has become. So first and foremost, let, let me pull, pull it up and uh, let me show you guys the animation that changed for Siri. So if you bring up Siri, the animation at the bottom now is a little different than what we used to have on iOS 8. So that's one difference. But the other thing is Siri pays a lot of attention to what you say in a very precise manner. So on my iPad, I have some pictures from May uh, 14th, 2015. I'm going to tell Siri to show me those. Let me show you guys. Show me the pictures from May 14th, 2015. And these are the pictures from May 14th, 2015. Now check this out. Show me the pictures that I took in May 14th, 2015. Now the funny thing is, it didn't show me anything. And the reason it did not show me anything is because I did not take these pictures using the iPad. Okay? So the pictures are on my iPad from May 14th, but I did not take them using the iPad. So that's why it did not display them in this scenario, okay? That's very intelligent. Still quite far away from us superior human beings, but that's a nice touch. Another feature has to do with the keyboard. So if I pull up Safari, and if I pull up the keyboard, on the keyboard you'll see three buttons. This is the cut, copy, and paste button conveniently placed on the top. The other thing you can do is you can use two fingers, tap on the keyboard, and your keyboard turns into a virtual trackpad and you can move the cursor wherever you want. Alrighty. And also if you press the shift button, the letters actually change from lowercase to uppercase. And you can actually visually see it. Okay. Lowercase, uppercase, you can visually make the distinction. So that's something new in iOS 9 as well. Another feature has to do with search again. If you go into settings, you can actually search through the settings. You don't have to do a deep dive into the settings and try to look for crazy options hidden under, under accessibility. You can actually just search for a feature that you're looking for. So if I was looking for the battery options, I would type in battery, and that will bring up the battery menu. I tap that, and here it is. Alrighty, so that's searching in the settings. Now another new feature comes in actual Maps application for Apple Maps. So you can uh, get directions for driving, walking, and now you can get some transit information. Now this transit information is not available all across US just yet. It is available in uh, New York and some other areas. But just uh, remember, it, it is coming. I can guarantee that by the time iOS 9 is finalized, you're going to get more and more cities and states added to the transit system for the Apple Maps. Another feature is that the task switcher has changed its design as well. So if you bring up the task switcher, it now is a bunch of stacked cards as opposed to the side-by-side uh, -side view on iOS 8. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. This was a quick introduction to top 10 new features in iOS 9 for the iPad Air 2 with some exclusive features for the iPad Air and other iOS 9 features that were announced. Now make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more iOS 9 updates and also follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me anywhere you can for other updates. Have a great day.